Hey guys, welcome to another video of uh, Middleman Football, uh, where I showcase my jersey collection in a little series here. And I believe we are going into episode 21, uh, if I'm right. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, first and foremost, uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you uh, checking out my channel. Please feel free to like and subscribe. That would really help me out. And uh, uh, let's let's get into it. Let's do it. So for this jersey now, uh, we've looked at countries in England, in Italy, the MLS. Um, and so we're looking to move into Germany. So with that one, I wanted to showcase this jersey right here. And it's the 2007-2008 VFB Stuttgart home jersey. Uh, I really like this jersey myself. I think it's a it's a wonderful jersey because um, you know as a kid uh, there used to be a player in that team called Pavel Pardo, uh, and he used to play for Club America, this the Mexican side, uh, this club in Mexico, and um, he got bought and transferred over in two thousand and six, I believe, and uh, he joined Stuttgart. So, because he was a player from Club America and I liked him, I kind of followed Stuttgart a little bit more. And so this is one of the jerseys that I really remember from that time period with him. Um, and so this is the home kit of the 2007-2008, if I didn't mention that already. Uh, it's sponsored by Puma. It has the, the three Pumas up. Uh, so this was a really nice template, in my opinion, from Puma. I believe Italy national team home jersey has this kind of similar three Puma template design uh, and so this jersey though is the 2007-2008 uh, but it's, it's kind of weird because Pavel Pardo's first season with the German club they ended up winning the Bundesliga title so this is the sick so this is the following season and from my understanding I believe they would have had a little gold star up here and this home kit doesn't have it. So I wonder why that is. Uh, and there's another thing I want to mention, but you know, we'll get to that uh, short, sh short enough. Uh, so Puma, Puma brand, home jersey. This is the VFB badge, Stuttgart. I love the badge, it's very nice. Like, like I said, no star. So it's missing, I wonder why that is. But um, if you can see clearly, there's some very, very proper ventilation here from from uh, this jersey, the VF, the Puma jersey. It's very, very nice ventilation. It's kind of like a see-through too. Uh, yeah, it won't pick it up, but it's very transparent. I b I would say. Uh, you have the E and B W logo there. I believe it's a B. I could be wrong on that. I don't, I don't know the German uh, alphabet. And so, uh, very nice ventilation, the three Puma designs, uh, logo brand, VFB Stuttgart. Uh, this is an extra large, by the way, an extra large jersey. Let me see if I can get it somewhat to focus. Uh, and so on the back, it does have the VFB. That's really nice touch on the back of the collar here. I like it. So here's the thing now. So Pavel Pardo, when he used to play for Club America, he always wore number 13. And for the national team, he would wear the number 8. So I picked up this jersey uh, at a place in Pasadena, California. And um, it's only now that I'm realizing, when I was doing a little bit of research for this jersey, that... I could have gone, I could have gotten a wrong design on the back for Pavel Pardo, his nameplate. And here's the thing, so, you know, boom, Pavel Pardo, right, in the back, but it's the number eight. And from my understanding, I don't think he ever wore the number eight with Stuttgart. I think he was just 13. He wore number eight with the national team. Uh, but I don't think he ever wore it with Stuttgart. So that's the thing. I could be wrong. 
uh, from what I understand, it was 13, three years that he was there. I could be wrong. Uh, but I noticed that and I was like, huh, did he ever wear 13? And when I was looking around, I didn't find anything with his number eight on the back. So I'm assuming this template got designed. Uh, Pardo with the number eight, even though he never wore it in Stuttgart. Um, and I didn't catch that at the time. I just thought, hey, Pavel Pardo, that's awesome. I want to get it. It's Stuttgart home jersey. Why not? So yeah, I mean, if you guys know more details, whether he did or did not wear the number eight, uh, please feel free to comment below. I appreciate that. I'm going to go with he never did. Uh, the number eight was just his national team number. Uh, but this one got the design on the number eight for whatever reason. So that, that threw me off. So the name set with the number eight and not 13. It's like, huh? Not having the little golden star here to represent the Bundesliga triumph last season too. Eh. But overall, it's a lovely kit. I like it a lot. Uh, it's one of the few German jerseys I do have. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I love the ventilation by Puma here. It, it also runs all the way down the side. Here, let me show you if you can kind of see the ventilation right, right all of this here. So yeah, uh, that is my VFB. 2007-2008 home jersey by Stuttgart. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for tuning in once again. Please like and subscribe. Um, here's the thing. If this video can get 8 likes, I might want to do some tactical analysis. Uh, you know, start looking at formation and tactics and explaining some things here and there. So I, I could transition this channel into that just a little bit here and there, you know, just so that it's like a little break away from the kits. Um, so if you do want to see a little bit of tactics and formations that I can help explain, you know, beginner stuff, uh, please like. Uh, if this video gets eight likes, I'm assuming you guys do want to see some of that. And if it doesn't, then, you know, I won't do that. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. Uh, like I said, feel free to uh, leave any comments down below. Did you like the jersey? Uh, do you own a, a Stuttgart jersey? Uh, I love to interact with you guys and talk about that stuff. And uh, yeah, subscribe. So thanks again. Have a good one. Bye-bye.